blessings to everyone. And as we get ready for this worldwide meditation, just a little bit of explanation, and I will be doing a guided meditation. We're going to go 20 minutes in about 10 minutes. So let's start with a little prayer, merging the heavens and the earth. This is a really big turning point. 2020 is like a make it or break it for the world, not just the U.S. And what we're doing here is doing the one thing we've been given, which is the power, the fire, literally firepower of meditation. I say firepower because we know the COVID gets burned up in heat. We're creating a spiritual heat. And what we're doing is not so much opposing the dark side, the layers of the dark side, individuals, groups, bigger groups above that, off-planet groups, okay? We are lighting a light in the darkness. That's our advantage, is the power of light to light up the darkness. That's what we're really doing. What I'm going to do is go through the meditation first and then... During the meditation, we'll also do it. So what are the steps? So think as energy comes down through us, we have an altar to God on our hearts, a fire, an eternal fire. And even though the dark side would like to put it out and make us slaves, that eternal fire is what's going to save us. So we're going to turn in and feel that eternal fire coming down as a gift from God, feel it in the heart and let it spread out throughout our body, burning all toxins, viruses, bacteria, fungal, whatever, and all negativity, all negative thought forms. Let it burn it up and simply now see it moving around the world, burning up all the darkness and bringing light to the living planet. That's it. Our job is to be the light that dispels the darkness. That's our power. That's the beauty that we've been given. It's our one gift. We don't have the military. We don't have the governments. But we have our ability to very powerfully affect and uplift the the global brain. And we can take that in the big picture to transforming consciousness, not just on our planet, but actually off planet. We have that power. And this attack, however we want to see it, is a wake-up call to experience our power to create the light to overcome and dispel the darkness. It's a pretty simple formula. And... That's what I love about it. It's like we're given one thing. Now, I will just mention that I've been told in different ways that's really all we have to do. Once uh, when I was in Argentina, uh, meditating in a special place in Cordova where even extraterrestrial, extraterrestrials were known to come and researchers to come there. And they simply, I made contact with them, and they simply said, get people to meditate and create the light. And that empowers us to have a positive effect on the living planet. That's it. And that's what we're doing now. I'm going to point out that there's at least two extraterrestrial groups that are saying they're going to deal with the 5G elements, which make it harder. And in my next newsletter... You can go to gabrielcousins.com uh, and sign up for the newsletter. It's free. The next newsletter, I'm going to be talking about the 5G COVID virus interaction. But our big power isn't about just that and getting healthy. Our big power is creating a global brain that's filled with so much light that no darkness 
can affect us. That's really the story. And we're almost ready to meditate here. So just keep that in mind. Big picture. We, at this moment, are beginning a series of meditations that will dispel the darkness. Very first one we did, I mean, we had the Peace 21 that started for me in 1985. We know it even affected the number of sunspots, you know, and our sun. So we can affect the whole solar system. That's been proven. That's really good to know. It's really important to know. So we have that power. Now it's time to use it. That's the big message here. And it's our choice to transform the planet back into a planet of the living light. So with that, it looks like it's about time for us to go into meditation. So we're going to go in with a, uh, a yod. But first I'm going to give just a... a a few, a minute or so of, of Shakti Pot. So, just um, focus on my eyes, and this will uh, can awaken the spiritual energy. We've seen it happen now with our spiritual fasting retreat, which we just did uh, like a week or two ago. Um, so, just be open to it. It actually really works. God has kind of opened the doors here, so that energy can get through. So, just look at me for a minute, and feel that energy awakening. And now we go into meditation. We'll go in with the yo, the first letter out of the nothing. We will meditate in guided visualization for about 20 minutes. Yo. Close your eyes, go inside, feel that burning light on the altar of your heart and let it expand to light up your whole body, burning all dark force energies on every level. Let it burn it up, but feel that light first. Now as that light burning on the altar of your heart becomes the flame of your soul, pervading your whole body, filling your whole body filled with light. And that fire of God is coming through. 
the firepower of God. And now, as all levels of dark force are burn up in your own body, let that light begin to expand outside of you. The fire of God purifying your home, purifying all those around you, and now spreading out around the living planet, dispelling the darkness. Visualize the whole planet filled with the firepower of God's light. And now see this light expanding to uh, include the whole solar system, burning up all levels of darkness on the planet, off the planet, and the whole solar system. And hold that image for the rest of the meditation.
Okay, so slowly come out of meditation. Ah, it's really good. It was really good to f experience the power that we have of the fire of God. It was really powerful for me. And very interested in feedback about this. Uh, maybe even once a month we try to do this worldwide. Uh, it would be very, very good. If anyone wants to find out more about my newsletter, a lot is about the COVID right now, but not all of it, uh, just go to drcousins.com and sign up for the newsletter. It's free. I want to keep you in touch and updated. We will prevail. The light will prevail. Just kind of get it in your mind. Um, let that fear dissipate and know the power of light. I'm going to call it the fire power of God will prevail within this year. Peace be with you. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om Atakyo Asan. Aho.